The Orion Art Center hosted its biggest fundraiser of the year, and they also recognized two special members of the community. Oakland County Sheriff Michael Bouchard recently received national recognition, making him America's Sheriff. Representatives of the Orion Area Chamber ventured across the border into Oxford to welcome a brand new business to the community. And the Orion Township Library thanked its army of volunteers with a luncheon that included food, music, and fun. Hello, I'm John Atwater. We'll have those stories and more coming up on this edition of ONTV News. Throughout the year, the Orion Art Center offers classes, hosts art shows, and organizes one of the biggest annual events in the county. But none of this would be possible without their largest fundraiser of the year. On Saturday, April 16th, the Orion Art Center hosted its annual gala at Boulder Point Golf Club in Oxford. The theme of this year's event was diamonds and denim, and money was raised through ticket sales, a silent auction, and raffles. Those in attendance enjoyed a surf and turf dinner, and a DJ provided music for dancing. Most of them are members of the community and um, they are vested in this community which is really a good thing. I know they have been in the community for years so the majority of the people here have attended this event year after year. So they know what their money is going towards. They know that it's for a good cause and that it benefits a, a really good center and um, like was it was mentioned tonight that the Orion Art Center is just a tiny little house at downtown Lake Orion and it's amazing um, the shows that they have there and the different things, the different events that they have and help out with in the community. So everybody here who supports this event gets to support that. Each year the Art Center hands out two awards during the gala. Named 2016 Artist of the Year was author and illustrator Matt Faulkner. Uh, Matt has been a member of the community for a long time and he um, he illustrates children's books and there's really a story to his art. Um, there are actually a couple auction items that he's donated tonight. One of them um, is a, a book they, they actually they're they're children's books but they go a lot deeper than really for children and um, He's just a prominent member of the community. His wife also um, is a prominent member of the community. She's a writer. So they work together and do a lot of different things together, a lot of children's books. And named 2016 Patron of the Arts was former Art Center director and board member Reggie Harrison, who helped make the Art Center what it is today and is partially responsible for creating the Dragon on the Lake Festival. I have been a friend of Reggie's for quite a few years and Reggie not only has brought a lot into the art center itself, but into the community. She is a great friend to a lot of people and she really, for all the years and all the work that she's put into not only the art center but into the community, into Dragon on the Lake, um, she really deserved this award. You know, it's been years and years that she's put in to this event. And finally, 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 we get to um, recognize her for all the work that she's done. And she came from California. She moved out there recently. So she came home and accepted this award. So it's just, uh, she's a great, great, great friend of mine. So it's, it felt really good to give her this award. It is so fantastic to be amongst all these wonderful people from Lake Orion who I love and I have gotten to know so personally over the years. It's been 23 years that I've been in Lake Orion and it's been 23 years of cultivating relationships and tonight was like the culmination of seeing all these wonderful people that I've worked with and played with and had so much fun with and here we all are together. So it's been great. The annual gala also helps the Art Center give out scholarships to area students who are heading off to college to pursue the arts. Students are invited to submit artwork, which will be on display at the library. The Art Center will present the Joan Brace Scholarship Awards on Tuesday, May 10th. Visit orionartcenter.org for more information. The Art Center also recently kicked off a new art show with an opening reception. ONTV's Joe Johnson has the story. On Friday, April 8th, the Orion Art Center hosted an opening reception for its annual Portraits and Pottery Show. Dozens of pieces were submitted for the juried show in a wide variety of media. 
I think that's the most exciting part of art. Art moves in certain directions. It has a history, it has a presence, it has a future. And the extent to which creative diversity allows us to reimagine the nature of our artistic pieces is pretty, pretty exciting stuff. Ribbons and cash prizes were handed out at the reception. This year, the portraits and pottery submissions were judged in separate categories. Receiving a first place ribbon for her mixed media abstract portrait was Christina Halet of Oakland Township. Well, it's a mixed media piece and uh, a lot of times I just start working and things show up and so this head showed up it shows up periodically in some other pieces too and i like texture obviously um i use some old paintings that are glued on in the background so it's kind of a collage and uh, it evokes a certain feeling that comes out in certain paintings um you know kind of on a subconscious level i guess and taking first place in the pottery category was another mixed media piece submitted by Janet McCall Remar of Clarkston. The torso is made of clay and I, I drilled a, a board with various size holes and pressed it into the clay to get whatever texture I can end up with. And I collect a lot of uh, steel pieces just junk and I weld things together to um, create assemblage. So uh, this is also a ceramic piece and uh, this is a stone from Lake Michigan and uh, he just kind of builds himself and there he is. What was your reaction when you walked in and saw the blue ribbon? Well I was I was very excited. It's, it's very nice to get that sort of encouragement and uh, reinforcement from your peers. Each first place winner received a $125 cash prize and the artwork will continue to be on display at the Art Center through May 6th. The Art Center's next show will kick off on June 17th with the popular Recreate Recycle show sponsored by Waste Management. For more information visit OrionArtCenter.org or give them a call at 248-693-4986. In Lake Orion, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News. Thanks Joe. Michael Bouchard was appointed to the office of Oakland County Sheriff in January 1999. He was elected to the position the following year. Since then, his initiatives have put Oakland County in the spotlight and recently the sheriff received national recognition. Earlier this month, the National Sheriff's Association has awarded its Ferris E. Lucas Award to Oakland County Sheriff Michael Bouchard, naming him 2016's Sheriff of the Year. Bouchard was selected for more than 3,000 sheriffs across the country for his outstanding contributions in promoting the office of the sheriff. I'm very, very honored, very touched actually to receive this. There's 3,000 plus sheriffs in America and they picked me. I guess they went alphabetically almost. I, <laughs> I don't know, but I'm, I'm very touched by it. Um, basically what the award says is that for outstanding contributions to promote the office of the sheriff and to connect to your community in ways that are above and beyond what's expected. That's kind of the synopsis of it. And the majority of the award goes to the men and women that I'm lucky to serve with at the sheriff's office. They do a great job. They're touching lives every day, making a difference, and they make me look good. So I think social media is a component, but I think, you know, the old-fashioned getting out and talking to people and trying to make sure that you meet their needs and and help them when they're in a bad moment in their lives. That's that's what we're always going to be, whether it's with technology or not. It really comes down to what happens when we're there in person and how can we make things better. The Ferris E. Lucas Award is named after the NSA's past president and executive director. Lucas had a distinguished 50-year career in law enforcement and served as St. Clair County's sheriff for 18 years. Despite receiving this award, Sheriff Bouchard told us that his work is never done and the world of law enforcement is always evolving. Well, it's an ever-changing world and you know there's more and more things that we have to think about in police work you know when I became a cop there was no such thing as homeland security or terrorist threats right. now we're very integrated and involved in counterterrorism and how do we protect our communities what are some of the things we think about whether it be Brussels or Paris if it happened here how would we respond things like that 
Although the Orient Township Library has a tremendous hardworking staff, the library is dependent on a small army of volunteers to help them deliver programs and services to the community. On Friday, April 15th, the Orient Township Library hosted its annual Volunteer Appreciation Luncheon. Staff expressed their gratitude by inviting volunteers to enjoy lunch and tap their toes to country music by ONTV's own Bob Lowe. Even the library's reading dogs were treated like royalty. Well, I think every day we appreciate the volunteers and our staff is great about saying thank you. We really appreciate it. But once a year, it's really nice to do something special where we group them all together and really appreciate them. Volunteers mean that the library can offer services and programs that we couldn't otherwise offer. We have a limited amount of staffing resources for our library, and so our volunteers help us put on programs, prepare for programs, offer services, make sure that our books get cleaned, things get reshelved, just so many different kinds of projects um, that we wouldn't be able to do everything if we didn't have them, so we're, we're really grateful. The library also depends on volunteers with special needs to help out with various chores. Their relationship is mutually beneficial. Um, that's something that Lori McGeary has worked on for us and she works with different special needs groups. So some are from the high school and some are special needs adult groups in the community. And some of them like to come in and it provides them a chance to have a job related experience so that they can come and do something productive and feel successful with their lives. And some of them are limited in what they can do if they weren't able to come here. So we like to provide them with that experience. We like to have them in the library. We like the rest of the community to see that we work with them as well. Um, because they are a part of our community just like everybody else. The staff and volunteers are gearing up for the library's next major event. The Friends of the Library will transform the building into Japan for the fourth annual Passport to Spring fundraiser. The event will take place on Saturday, May 30th at 7 p.m. For ticket information, call 248-693-3000, extension 350, or you can visit orionlibrary.org. As its name implies, the Orion Area Chamber of Commerce doesn't limit its membership to just businesses in Lake Orion. Recently, Chamber representatives ventured just over the border into Oxford to welcome a brand new business. On Thursday, April 14th, representatives of both the Orion and Oxford Chambers gathered in Oxford to celebrate the grand opening of J Jewelers. J stands for Just Amanda and Edgar, the partners who own the business. Amanda Davis and Fred Edgar have a combined 50 years of experience in the jewelry business and decided to join forces to open up a business of their own. A long process, a lot of hard work, a lot of long nights, uh, the support of the community, um, husband putting up with a lot when we get home after working and stress. And here we are. It's amazing to see this many people coming out to help and support us and give us the help that we need to get our name out there. The business had a soft opening on February 23rd before inviting friends and family to the grand opening ceremony in April. The business sells jewelry but also offers to fix and polish your existing jewelry. Come here to expect a very uh, warming atmosphere. Uh, we want to make sure that everybody coming in feels welcome. We will help them, um, whether it's making a piece of jewelry, taking their old pieces and creating something brand new, whether they have some piece that's broken and damaged and they really want to bring it back to life, we'll help them do that. Um, Fred, my partner, he's the man behind the design, so they can stand here and watch them if they have any unsecurities at all of getting a piece made, fixed, um, afraid to leave it with a jeweler. They can stand here at the window and watch them through the window and work on their piece of jewelry. The J Jewelers website is currently under construction, but they do have a presence on Facebook. You can also call 248-572-6767 if you have any questions. And finally, on Tuesday, April 5th, the Greater Oakland GOP Club held their monthly meeting this time focusing on going green. Orion Township Supervisor Chris Barnett, Jim Newman of Newman Consulting, and Gary Thompson of Powers Distributing spoke to the club. Barnett encouraged the club to think about going green, especially if it is able to save business owners money and increase jobs. He also stressed that Republicans are losing today's youth because of their previous stance on action on environmental change. Gary Thompson spoke on what Powers Distributing is doing to not only lower their impact on the environment, but also save money.
The Greater Oakland GOP Club holds monthly meetings. For more information, visit their website at www.gogop.club. And that will wrap up this edition of ONTV News. To keep up to date on news and events in the Lake Orion community, be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. On behalf of the hardworking staff here at ONTV, I'm John Atwater. Thanks for watching.